Hey everybody, Carletta here, and Ray Ray, in cosplay. He's looking at all the All Saints Wake stuff that's going on. So, I just thought I'd say hello and let's see what's going on with the festivities. Crazy music. And here's the quest. Let's see, let's... All right, what you what you gonna say? Let's see. It's called the Sinister Soiree. Sounds good to me. Uh, the Adventure Guild investigator is eyeing the troop currently occupying Makato's Amphitheater with suspicion. All right, and it's only available for a limited time. All righty, so ah, we meet again. Much to my relief, frankly. I could use to help an adventurer who knows the Continental Circus and their fiendish proclivities. <laughs> proclivities. Eh, well, crap. <laughs> anyway, imagine you won't be surprised to hear that they're up to something new this year, and it doesn't seem entirely on. But it never is. Not that anything a troop of uh, fell fiends posing as law-abiding citizens does is truly a bar board, but, well, yeah, no. Now, the Avengers Guild policy on, on the matter is to live and let live, revel as long as they don't uh, get up to anything too evil. <laughs> Just a little evil, but not too evil. But I have reason to suspect they're plotting something truly diabolical for this year's festivities. The troop has been inviting folk to a certain manner. Yeah, the cookie manner. <laughs> Obstensibly for a marvelous masquerade. In the spirit of All Saints Wake. But I have been keeping constant watch, ever alert for signs of villainy. And the whispers of passers-by tell of a different story. I've even heard that some who've entered have yet to return. <laughs> oh, did I say that? <laughs> Personally, I feel that whisking the citizenry away into the night is a spot of mischief too far. And I'm sure you agree that something should be done before harm comes to unsuspecting revelers. We need to find out what the troop is really up to by feigning interest in the party. The impresario seems to have realized that I am investigating the circus. I can't imagine how. Regardless, he knows that I have ulterior motives, so you must go alone and then report back to me. I'll try to dig up uh, additional information on the missing persons in the meantime. Yay. But, there's cookies involved. Yes. What shall I do? Oh, yes! Continue the quest. Oh my, is this a familiar adventure I spy? Hmm, though perhaps I am mistaking for much and more is not as it seems this time of year. Wouldn't you agree? Uh, whoever you may be, I do hope you are having a properly dreadful All Saints week. Hey, well, you know, I haven't got any cookies. <gasps> You're not? Dear, dear. That simply will not do. Uh, but dry your tears, for the wake is still young, and there are many frights yet to come. I'm certain we can make room for our marvelous masquerade for such an illustrious adventurer like yourself. Yes, a masquerade. Uh, where the guests don guises both wholesome and frightful and dancing as long as they dare. Uh, does that not sound charmingly reminiscent of the night of devilry in fairy tales? 
all to reveal in such ghoulish delights to join the madness in the streets to see that the palest of pumpkin heads leading a magnificent medley of, fri of fiends friends and fiends it has been so long since the coming of this last true night how I curse each year wasting in the great god's absence! <coughs> Pardon me. I simply adore the idea of an authentic celebration, and though the circus does its best to reach all saints awake, we lack the uh, man power uh, to truly impart the thrill of the seasons of the realm over. What we do not lack, though, is a frighteningly abandoned mansion for our masquerade. Why? There are even rumors that is that its furnishings, with no master to serve, have taken on lives of their own and hold baleful banquets in the darkness of night. Aren't you dying to attend? Okay, we got a choice here. I do have a few dozen geysers I've been working on. Uh, what about? Okay, we'll go. We'll go right up front and say, what about the rumors of those who enter and never return, bub? Hmm. I can't say rumors of that sort have reached me, though they do sound like the makings of a chilling tale. I wouldn't be surprised if the mansion's sprawling corridors confused a guest or two, however. Regardless, I'm sure you'll have an absolutely spine-tingling time. Yes, and when mortal terror is at its zenith, the night of devilry shall return at long last. <laughs> oh, that. Merely a new slogan for the Continental Circus, of course. To help revelers get into the spirit and such. Now, off you go. <sighs> Why do I feel as if I'm being watched? Surely no one is aware of our true intentions of this time. Psst. I'm watching you. Ooh. Hmm. Whisper seems to emanate from somewhere nearby. Let's click. Doodly -do 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 -do. doodly over here. Ooh. The voice continues its valiant attempt to sound spooky as it moves towards the whistling miller. Hmm. 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 What are those? What are those? Hell. Ah. Whoa, hi! Y'all are... Ghost. Delighted to be alive at last, aren't we, little ones? <laughs> oh, I do believe we met before. Yes, in an autumn such as this. And now, don't you two have something to tell our friends here? <laughs> you should see the look on your face. It was hilarious. So we went boo and your eyes got huge. And you know, now that you mentioned it, I don't actually remember where we, what, what we came here to talk about. <laughs> the plot, the evil one. You know, the one that involves being loud and irritating. You know. You know, loud and irritating in our mansion. Oh, yes! <laughs> so the other day, I was just sitting in the floor being decorative. <laughs> Which is, you know, the same thing as I do every day back before I can move. Now, come to think of it, I saw a mama carrying little girl away to the dark depths of the mansion. I could hardly believe my eye holes. 
suspicious and horrifying that I couldn't do anything about it on account of having no mouth to scream with. I mean, I had a mouth, but I didn't do anything. Ooh, me being frippery and all. Anyway, that's when the lady with the hideous pumpkin on her head came along and imbued me with life. <laughs> Hi. Please stop. Please stop talking. You get us both turned back into objects of art. <laughs> right. So, uh, what matter is that we begin keeping an eye on the Infertario when you know it, he's plotting something. As you're well aware, the Continental Circus is luring people to the mansions for a masquerade. Once there, the guests will be kidnapped and turned into jack-o'-lanterns to inspire terror. Uh, where, with enough terrified victims, the troop will be able to usher in the night of devilry. It's a nuisance, really. I've resigned myself to the fact that I have to go out of my way with this. If you want to put a stop to the impresario's plan, I can help. <laughs> Me too! <laughs> oh, why am I changing my accent? I don't know. Oh, the thought of the poor little girl being turned into a pumpkin and uh, stuck in the corner should enough to shouldn't have chilled down my seam. See, I don't have a spine, so again, anyway. It would be terrible and dreadful. The greatest travesty in this world's ever seen. So you'll keep it from happening, right? Sure, why not? Amazing. I knew we could count on you. Well, not really, I suppose, since this, we just met a few moments ago, but you do seem nice. Anyway, we'll head back to the mansion and meet you there. <laughs> they certainly are enjoying themselves. The joy of conversation is a novelty to them, though to you it may be unworthy of remark. Did you glean anything of the impresario's master plan? Witnesses saw a mummer abducting a little girl? That must be the Makote child. Yeah, Makote child. <laughs> ah, I almost said Mithra. But anyway, it must be that Makote child who was reported missing. I'd inquire with the Woodwellers as to whether they have seen anything suspicious, any suspicious incidents of late, and it seems they have been searching for who's hitting on the damn drums. Okay, bongos. <laughs> okay. Let's do this again. I inquired with the wood whalers as to whether there has been any suspicious incidents of light, and it's cut that out! Any suspicious incidents as of late, and it seems they have been searching for one tomorrow. Oh dear goodness me, I can't pronounce that. Tamarita, Tamarita, at the request of her family. That's the ch little girl's name, okay. The situation is already far worse than I'd fear. We must locate the child at once before any harm befalls her. I will report what you discovered in to the wood whalers and prepare to lead a raid on the mansion. In the meantime, you ought to disguise yourself and infiltrate the masquerade. See if you can discern where the girl is being held. My thanks. I've seen the genial Golser's escort folk to the manor. So once you chose a costume in place, you should be able to convince them to let you inside. All right, genial geyser. Oh -ho! <laughs> Another raveler ready to join a marvelous masquerade. Yes, go into the manor. A manor of speaking. <laughs> I am so silly. No, you're not. I haven't been in here since last year. <laughs> Took you long enough. 
Not sure how much more of this rubbery I can endure. Oh, wow, you're here already. I've been so busy reveling, it's just time just flew by. Do you see what I put up with? Regardless, uh, we should seek out the uh, malevolent mummers and try to get some information on where they're keeping her. Pray that she hasn't already been turned into a pumpkin or we'll be here for moons. I doubt the mummers will tell us what we need to know if we're at... Okay. <clears throat> I doubt the mummers will tell us what we need to know if we ask politely, so we need to employ a bit of deception. Fortunately, I came up with a plan during the ample time that you left me to think. This should be... They should be more willing to speak to one of their own, namely a fiend. So you need to turn into one. Oh, I bet you're wondering how we'll make you into a monster. <laughs> you are, aren't you? <laughs> we'll see our very close friend with the, uh, hit Dio, I mean, fist of pumpkin head, has all sorts of powers, all sorts, all sorts, all sorts. And we asked to borrow one of, you know, two, three. Indeed, the powers we have will allow us to transfigure your appearance just as the members of the troop do, albeit just temporarily. Go ahead and adjust to the idea of your visage being horribly reconfigured. Uh, when you're ready, let me know, and I'll explain the plan in detail. All right, kids. All right, now we're gonna be a bat. Na 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 na. Batletta. Da na 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 na. Batletta. Okay. Dog eat. Ah, a fiend. Oh wait, I'm also a fiend. Phew, that was totally like that. It made me forget who I am. <laughs> oh, and where you put that pumpkin? Oh, where? What's that memo for? <laughs> Room 201! Room 201! Room 2... Ah! Honestly, can't you just greet me like a normal agent of evil? Now I'm going to spend my whole pastoral trying to remember what room we put the memo in. What? What? Oh, I see you. What exactly are you guarding them? Why exactly aren't you guiding the memo? I need to... Uh, I need to be about finding the next victim. Mark my words, there will be seven hells to pay if I hear that some interloper has walked off with our guest turned pumpkin in the meantime. Ah, uh, what did you learn? Well... Ah, I know it. My plan would work. We've got to go ne We We got... We got you now, you rowdy little... <coughs> Uh, let's review the information you collected. Uh, yeah, wait. What information? Oh, Carletta, when did you get back? What the hell? <laughs> Reading comprehension. Yeah. Oh, hold on. That's not the... That's, yeah, we don't need that. Woo! We get one or the other. The other one we'll have to buy with cookies! Little gang seemed quite eager to review your findings. Likely because he was not listening the first time. <laughs> the sword cipher. Cipher! Good work out there. I mean, I suppose I don't know how your work was exactly, but uh, since I'm here the whole time and all, but you seem like someone who would do good work. Uh, so let's review the work that you did. <sighs> if you have been paying attention... You would know that our friend here tricked the mummers into revealing a room number, 201, and the existence of a memo regarding a pumpkin significant enough to be kept under guard. I see. 
so that means, actually, I have no idea what's going on. Okay. The memo holds information on the girl's whereabouts. Yes, I quite agree. Oh, so the pumpkin, the pumpkin, the little girl! Oh no, this is terrible. Indeed. Which means that you two should investigate room 201 post haste and see if you can locate the memo. Off you go. Um. Oh look, Mummer's memo. The conspicuous memo contains notes scrawled in an unpractical hand. Pumpkin, sell it. Bat, plus succubus, plus succubus, room number, equals eyes. The hell? Ah, this one has to be the one. It says pumpkin on it and everything. Now we just need to count some eyeballs. You can do that, right? You seem like a great eyeball counter. <laughs> oh, and the eyeballs remind me of these other balls. The pumpkin-headed lady gave them to me. They're s subliming smoke bombs that can break any s s get changers, skin changer's curse. Yes, I can read. All right, just throw the one at any old jack o lantern you see, and it will turn back into its original form. Unless its original form was a pumpkin. <laughs> then it'll just stay the same. The little girl must be so scared. Hurry, find the room, and I'll be right behind you. Oh, but not in a haunting way, in a helpful way. <laughs> All right, now we got another. No, I'm not gonna. Four seconds to detonate. <laughs> there we go. Now that's our cutscene. They're so silly. Oh, uh, I knew that you would be skilled and skilled. A ah, I knew you'd be skilled at pumpkin identification, and you did it. You saved the little. Oh crap. Wait, what? I can finally stretch my legs again! Finally, I have legs again. Wah! Ah! Um, oh dear. A little girl turned into a large man! It's terrible! It's dreadful! It's the greatest travesty the world has ever seen. Pretty sure that's a different person. Oh, well, that does make sense. <laughs> uh, come to think of it, well, even if he isn't a girl, we will not judge him in any way. Oh, <laughs> even though he's not the girl we're looking for, we should probably follow him, don't you think? Not a bad idea, post toasty ghosty. <laughs> uh -huh. Ah, a ghost stalker! All right, Doc, and keep it together. Wait a minute, I know you. I apologize for my outburst. I'm a little on the edge. One minute I was enjoying the masquerade, you see, and the next I'm a pumpkin in a dungeon. It's a bit much to take in. Dawkin! Ah, oh, there's the little Makote. Ah, oh, little Tom Marita! You're considerably less orange than I was a moment ago. So I take it to mean that you've been safe in your hiding place all this time. Yep! I'm the best hider! And there's no fiend who found me yet. Ah, uh, 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 hello, uh, I'm confused. Well, Mr. Ghost, I was looking around this big, scary mansion for a good hide-and-seek spot when one of the people from the circus saw me and started casting a 
fail on me. I know because it happened before. Dawson jumped up. Dawkin jumped in front of me, and but he got turned into a pumpkin. I ran away, and I wanted to go and get help. But there were too many people from the tulip garden the way out. Me? <laughs> I just happened to be lost in the cellage when I came upon the mummer casting the curse on her. Uh, not that I knew what it was a curse at the time, mind. But uh, it seemed right ominous, so I shielded her without a second thought. And someone is crafting. And then I was a pumpkin! Funny how these things happen. Unfortunately, I wasn't much good to anyone after that. I must have been You must have been scared out of your wits all alone down here. Ah, don't worry, I was fine. These nice blooms kept me company while I hid. Oh, thank you for coming to save me again, Miss Avensor. Uh, and you too, Mr. Ghost. <laughs> and my thanks as well. Uh, I would have hated to be stuck in that jack-o'-lantern forever. Just sitting there decoratively, serving no purpose. A anyway, I'm more than happy to, excarp, uh, to escort Tamarita here to her mother. Hopefully next time we meet, I won't be a useless ornament. <laughs> wow! That was weird! And slightly offensive. Uh, but I'm glad they're safe and everything worked out, you know, because when the pumpkin turns into a middle-aged man, it was so scary and I thought we were in terrible tragedy for sure, but oh, do you think we're supposed to tell Yin? Oh, the girl turned into what? Sounding more like a ghost now. Oh, I see. Ah, well, what matters is everything turned out well in the end. And it's all thanks to Carletta. It was really fun talking to you, joking with you, and panicking with you, and running around with you. Oh, well, that's little Yang. <laughs> Come to think of it. I don't think I've ever had so much fun. And now that it's over, I can finally have some peace and quiet. The manor will be empty once again, and perhaps we must return to silence. As well, not that I mind, but do come and see us again. <laughs> Y'all come back now, you hear? Oh, that's quite enough for now. Wasn't someone waiting to hear from you? Aha! There you are. I was delighted to hear you managed to rescue the girl. Even without reinforcements. The less the impresario knows of our resources, the better. And perhaps a troop's failure to keep a hold of their prey will give them cause to doubt the wisdom of their plans. So we can only hope and keep a close watch, of course. I will remain at my post here, vigilant as always. If you could keep an eye on the goings-on within the manor itself, I'd be grateful. Hmm, but what about the other issue? Hmm. 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 It is fitting that you bring the little ones to life. For they have watched over you for longer than you know. <laughs> As how the brooms that made the girls their playmate came to move, even I cannot say. Ah, for it was no magic of mine, but no matter, Auntie Posto. And the grand masquerade of all saints wake, adventurers. Monsters and silent watchers are as one. Permit us our mischief, 
and we might follow you home. Eh, I really gotta see a mental health doctor. 